Mehta joining us on the broadcast. Raj Lakshmi Joshi joining us very, very shortly. And we'll also have PKD Namia joining us. In Interesting uh, bipol because this has got multiple dimensions, not only from the... Uh, it, it has got multiple uh, regions, whether it is Telangana to Maharashtra, uh, UP and Bihar. In, so many states are involved in this whole... This gives us some kind of a mood of the nation. Wherein it clearly gives us uh, a very strong sentiment that the BJP is intact in its popularity. The Modi and the, 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 the charisma of Modi is still the same. And the opposition really needs to work much, much more harder uh, to take on to the Modi or to the BJP. Of course, there are learnings from every election. And the assembly elections are also predominantly have got some kind of an effect of the local, uh, not only some amount of a major effect of the local uh, factor, including the, the the candidate of that particular, because there are times you will see in the assembly elections. Okay, but Pekar Nambiar, I mean, what are people telling us? Because uh, is it just local factors in Bihar? Whereas Ashok Mehta pointed out, these are these are gud seats. It BJP was uh, this was a bastion seat for the BJP, close contest, but it was definitely a bastion seat for for Anand Kumar Singh. Uh, so they've they've retained it, or is the voter here reflecting upon the fact that hang on, hang on? Uh, uh, you know, a few months ago, it was a different government. And today, the chief, chief minister is same, but it's a different government. Correct. I think the complete alliance and the political uh, uh, the equations have completely changed in uh, uh, Bihar. So, I think uh, for BJP, I, all, I, was, I was always maintaining that it is a okay. golden opportunity to be on okay. its own. Okay. And this okay. is okay. once again... To you. So, my colleagues... Uh, that Akhilesh Yadav is still, you know, figuring out party life after Mulayam and uh, this, this one uh, can be excused. I would like to excuse this. The reason being that Akhilesh, uh, no matter what you say, in the, during the last election, he put up a good fight. He is a pr 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 very strong opposition in UP, which is, very which is very badly required for a good democracy, for a thriving democracy. Uh, thriving democracy. So I think this was an expected result. So I don't read too much. Uh, there, see, the, you have to understand, Rishabh, that there is no anti-incumbency in most of the governments uh, in these BJP rule states. Yeah. And even if there are some places, even if at all, if you find some places, they are very quick in their action. They change their, uh, the, the MLAs are not repeated. Uh, they don't give them the seats. So the fatigue and the, the, that particular party has been taken care of. Three uh, in Gujarat, for an example, there are three chief ministers have been re, um, two replace, uh, the th three chief ministers in uh, eight years, seven and a half, eight years. That means there is no fatigue or that kind of an anti incumbency. Uh, so in in a state level, the chief, chief minister is supposed to be like a king. So in the UP, with regard to this particular, it was a very it was a cakewalk for uh, BJP. And even if Samajwadi Party or for that matter, somebody was expecting something to happen there. I think uh, that was just okay. uh, so. So no surprises. Some, it's a very strategic move. It is not because of Raj Thakre or Shadat Pawar has asked uh, them to do a favor of giving that uh, seat to the Shiv Sena because of whatever the reason. It is more than that. It is a strategic. The reason to tell the uh, the world, the entire Maharashtra, to the country, BJP is not just uh, there to do only the power politics. It does cons it does look at things in a sympathetic and empathic matter wherever it is required. So what's the but sympathy that? That because of bereavement, uh, 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 the sympathy was only bereavement. Bereavement. Uh, that's, it. That, 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 that's it. But then you need to look at the interesting part. As you started saying that Nota is in the in the morning, it was talking about 18 percentage. Now the I think it is more than 15 percentage. That clearly gives an impression. Despite there is no opposition, there is a large number of people in that constituency is against this particular move or the person whomsoever has been elected. Okay. So this is just telling. I don't read too much in the uh, Risa by Paul. The reason being, of course, it is again a very uh, uh, the, the, the his son of the old MLA who has passed away. He's uh, come back. Yeah. One number two that yes, um, Alokji was talking about that. Uh, Biju Jantadal has always played a very strategic uh, alliance in a way. Uh, kind of a relation they have always maintained and okay. for the BJP for the first time in Bihar, uh, Orissa, if you realize, there are four uh, ministers including two cabinet ministers from Orissa in the central union government which was never yeah, the case. Yeah, yeah, so there, are, there are very much, there are you know, very you much know and no, no, so yeah. there is the BJP taking Odisha seriously. The two winners are, one is of course TRS because they have got a seat, uh, a new MLA uh, in the assembly because they have taken, taken it from the Congress. 
on the other side that the second winner is or the major winner in this election is bjp because they have be, become uh, uh, technically the principal opposition in telangana which was not the case till today yeah so okay. i think with this whole effort uh, both bjp and trs and the, the uh, you have to understand this very important part is that during this bharat jodo yatra this election happened in telangana yeah. and uh, <laughs> rahul gandhi uh, rahul gandhi is walking in telangana as of now so with this particular karnataka in the, no, in no, the, so we the, can, i guess you know